Templates in Kuroku are built from a collection of editable blocks. Lines of notes are built from buttons and text. These lines can then be grouped together into sections. Sections must contain a title and at least one line of notes. Text blocks at the beginning of a line can be used as line headings. Make the text bold by ending it with a colon or a question mark. There are four main types of buttons that you can have. Button groups show all the options on the same line, allowing you to pick one option. Drop downs give you a list and then you can pick one option. Multi selects give you a pop up with all the options and you can add as many as you want. Selectors are a special kind of button that bring up graphical elements. For example, the tooth selector brings up the mouth. The tooth selector works in combination with the tooth button. When you want to reference a tooth that you previously selected using the tooth selector, you simply add a tooth button. You then create a link between the two buttons. Buttons are the triggers for new linked lines. Every new line generated must originate from a button. You can find out more about creating and editing links in our dedicated video. Remember that when editing your templates, you can click the preview button at any time to check that the template appears as you would like it to. This is how those four different types of buttons display when completing your notes. Once a button has been created, you can change the type of button whenever you want. Simply click into the button and change the button type from the top left corner of the screen. Some blocks have a lightning symbol at the end or show on a pink background with a lightning label. This lightning symbol denotes a universal block. Universal blocks act as a library of common blocks that can be reused across your templates. If you make changes to a universal block, it will be updated across all the templates where this block is used. You can create universal blocks either from scratch or by converting them from an existing block. Your personal universal blocks can be managed from the universal blocks page on the sidebar. This is the best place to go to manage and update your universal blocks.